people want to see people. We don't care about brands. We don't want to see ads. 70% of consumers don't trust ads. We want to talk to and hear from people we know, like, and trust. It's like, this is an awful experience. This, this thing, my four inch pane of glass that I've been experiencing the entire world through this tiny screen and I'm clawing at it like a monkey. Come on. Who's using smart speakers? About 75% of the population has one. <laughs> it's the fastest growing consumer technology of all time, as I always say, uh, not just say, but it is true. More than half of smart speaker owners use them daily. This is habitual. Things like a flash briefing are often a bookend to the day, like the morning routine, drink the coffee, get the flash briefing, it's news, it's audio. You've seen that Apple now has the audio briefing inside of Apple News. Everything is going toward that short form audio content, TikTok style, but audio, okay? Get in and get out. This is something that was important to me in building Wealth Voice. And this video isn't an ad for Wealth Voice. Sign up or don't, I don't care whether it's right for you or not, but I wanted to explain something that kind of relates to other platforms and the way that we build products. To keep it as simple as possible is always the best route, especially at first. A lot of the other voice platforms out there, I feel have too many bells and whistles. I, as a marketer who's in the voice space, I still get confused trying to build on those platforms. Nothing wrong with them and they're very robust. Wealth Voice is so simple. It has five features and four of them you set up the first time you launch your skill and then you probably won't update them again. And the, the last one's called the broadcast and that's the thing you go in and update every day. It's like tweeting, but with your voice and you do it when you want to, when it fits your schedule. It's not a commitment to a podcast. If you can empower people to create updates that are bite-sized, engaging, authentic, and warm coming from them, from their own voice, from a video, like people want to see people. We don't care about brands. We don't want to see ads. 70% of consumers don't trust ads. We want to talk to and hear from people we know, like, and trust. Relationships are the foundation of building a successful business, of retaining those clients that you worked so hard and spent so much money on that cost to acquire a customer, your CAC. Content marketing will lower your CAC because it's organic and it builds on itself. It is a snowball rolling down a mountain. The voice is a big part of that snowball, increasingly so as we move forward. So I wanted to tell you that more than half of smart speaker owners use them daily and we're thinking about routines and habit. What else do you use daily? Your smartphone, your toothbrush? <laughs> this is becoming part of our lives and it's gonna be in our fridge and our microwave and our washing machine and it's all gonna be voice activated. If you are present there, and people can ask for an update from you, and you're one of the few early adopters that you're available there as this becomes the dominant platform that we interact through, where we leave tap, type, and swipe and enter voice first, you win. That's like being first on YouTube or Twitter or Facebook, and now look what happened with those early adopters. You have so many learnings and you course correct and you just, it's a feather in your cap. It's a client welcome kit. You can send out, look, these Echo Dots. We have a client on Wealth Voice who sent out Echo Dot welcome kits. And we have an insert card. It's, it's so neat. And the people that receive it, they're like, wow, this is high tech. This is cool. And I can get updates from my advisor anytime, hands-free. Great. And PS, I've been getting this question all week and I wanted to answer it. Who's using voice? Like I said, 75% or so of the population has a smart speaker. What about demographics? What about age groups? Because a lot of people say, my, my clients are 50, 60, 70 years old. Is that demo using voice? And that's a huge range, by the way, like a 50-year-old and a 70-year-old. Not that they're the same, but... Uh, voice use across ages. It is widely adopted and actually preferred by older people to this. This not ergonomic, like your eyes are going bad. I have trouble reading on my phone. I'm not older, but I'm getting there. And it's like, this is an awful experience. This, this thing, my four inch pane of glass that I've been experiencing the entire world through this tiny screen and I'm clawing at it like a monkey. Come on. That's why we're talking more.